Nos Mesmeri is still looking at your questions and comments and making videos for you. You can see how lucky we all are. All right, I got this question. She asks, Nos Mesmeri, my breast is bringing out some fluid. I don't know what's happening. I'm not pregnant. This is bringing out some white teeth discharge, like breast milk. But I am not pregnant. What is happening? Am I okay? Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you the causes of discharges from the breast and also what you should do. The causes and what you should do. But before we go into details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, I'm going to be talking about the reasons why your breast keep releasing that fluid and you are not pregnant and also tell you what to do. Generally, a lactating breast, breast that will bring out breast milk, is that breast of a pregnant woman that is close to delivery or a breast of a breastfeeding mother or a breast of somebody that just gave birth. But some of those young ladies that are not pregnant, that have not even delivered, sometimes have those discharges. They sometimes have this breast milk coming out from the breast and they are worried about it because they are not pregnant. So the first thing we're going to be discussing is the cause of this breast milk causes why they are actually lactating the first one is overstimulation of the nipple overstimulation of the nipple you can see the nipple like normally a child sucks it and it stimulates it to produce more milk so overstimulation of the nipple even when you don't have a breastfeeding child can result in breast milk can make you as a lady to lactate you want to ask how do i overstimulate my nipples and why is it causing it for example it can be as a result during some romantic play with your spouse that leads to sex like your spouse or your partner likes sucking your boobs let's put it that way it's like sucking your mm -hmm. so when he, he likes doing that regularly it can cause the body to feel oh there's a baby that always stimulates this nipple there's a baby that needs a breast milk so the, you are kind of confusing the body system. So the body system is not like, oh, should we release milk? I feel they, I feel this breast need milk so that this person can suck, so that this person can take, so that this baby can feed well. So you start lactating as a young lady. Outside that, putting on tight bra, tight clothing, tight things actually stimulates the nipple actually cause excess stimulation of the nipple and that can make you as a young lady to start releasing breast milk for those that are asking so the first one is excessive stimulation of the nipple then the second one is stress chronic stress especially those that are stressed that i don't mean minor stress i don't mean accuse i mean chronic stress chronic stress can result in changes in your body that can lead to increased prolactin and we all know that prolactin for those that don't know prolactin is the lactating hormone is the prolactin increase that makes your breast release milk so chronic stress can change your body hormones can change your body system that makes it increase the release of prolactin that will make your breast that will make an individual's breast to start releasing milk then the third one is herbal concussion. For those that take herbal concussion, it's also believed that there are some constituents in those herbal concussion that increases your prolactin level. There are some constituents in the herbal concussion some individuals are taking, some ladies are taking, that tends to increase their prolactin level that make them to start lactating then the fourth point is hormonal changes you know the body is being regulated despite your brain is doing some regulation hormones play a greater role in a lot of activities that are taking place in your body so when there's a change in your hormone there's an increase in that hormone called prolactin there's an increase in your thyroid hormone there's a possibility that you will start lactating because prolactin 
makes your breast release milk. So hormonal change can cause what can cause breast milk while you are not pregnant. Then the other point are certain medications. There are some certain medications such as your antipsychotic, antidepressant, some contraceptive, and also some elements of codeine. Yeah, can make a woman to start to start um, lactating even when she is not pregnant. So these are the key points that can make a woman to start lactating while not pregnant. Another point that can make a woman to start lactating can be brain injury, brain tumor. It's possible the part of the brain that regulates these hormones is being affected and that will lead to the release of excessive prolactin that leads to breast discharges, that leads to breast uh, milk production. So when that happens, that brain tumor happens, you can see this person having a lot of headache. You can see this person having a lot of changes in the body system. So that can cause um, excessive discharge from the body. So let me go over them quickly. I wrote them down here. The first is excessive stimulation, which I explained. The second is stress. The third is hormonal changes. The fourth is certain medication, which I explained. The other one is herbal concussion. The other one is brain tumor. And the last one, which I did not mention, is marijuana. For those that take drugs, marijuana. Is it marijuana? For those that know how to pronounce it, well, look at the spelling. So marijuana can cause um can cause breast milk that's breast milk production which is lactation so you have to take note of that so these are the causes of breast milk production so now that takes us to the question of what will i do if paraventure something like that happen the first and most important thing you should do is to limit the stimulation yeah if you know that you've looked at everything and you feel that the stimulation is the major cause, like, oh, you know, like, oh, my husband, my partner is always stimulating the breast milk. My partner is, I'm always putting on tight bras. I'm always putting on tight singlets. I'm always doing this. I'm always doing that. It's for you to reduce that stimulation. It's for you to stop wearing those tight bras. It's for you to stop wearing those tight clothes. That will go a long way to help to reduce the, um, the breast milk production then also generally um breast milk from the breast doesn't require much treatment it doesn't require you treating yourself it doesn't require you taking a lot of medications things like that it's something that sometimes comes and go so people it comes when their hormones when the prolactin in their body increases then later it slide away they don't treat it. But if you know you are worried about it, it could be brain tumor, you are suspecting a lot of changes that are taking place in your body as, as alongside with this release of breast milk lactating. It is better for you to see a doctor. Like I always say, don't use your body to play. Especially women. We have a lot of things that are going on in our body as ladies. So that's why I advise ladies, when you notice some changes in your body, to be on a safer side, it is better for you to see a doctor, confirm that nothing is wrong. That for you to sit back at home, assuming nothing is wrong and something is wrong. Do you get that? All right, that is all I have to share with you today. And I hope to that person that asked that question, it has been answered. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. All my videos for this week have been shot in the car because I am not at home. We went to visit a friend for the week. And this is the only opportunity I have to shoot my my videos. So I have to make do of it because definitely everywhere is going to be noisy. And I'm not with my studio, but I was just so determined to shoot my videos for the week. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>